Hi guys and girls, Emery again. Welcome back to the spare room. No. Hey, welcome back to the new office drawing shop. 3D print shop, that sort of thing. Anyway, new toy today. Um, just been cleaning up, messing around, getting this surface somewhere near Stellar Tape Free. Um, with limited success, I still find bits on there. Every time I turn around into that piece of isopropyl alcohol. Um, Canon drawing table with a Astar machine, which is actually. Machines, I believe, is probably Malaysian. It's not a bad machine. I've messed around with it this afternoon, got it somewhere near calibrated, um, got it all sorted out. There's some adjustment here. We've got no light in here, which is a bit of a problem. There's one probably 60 watt globe. I'm going to have to do something about putting some lights on this table because this bit of shadow is not really good there's some adjustment here though i don't know i hope you can see that um i'm gonna set up a light here try that and that's just my mobile phone i don't know if it's any better to be honest it's not really Still got shadows, we need a soft box or a diffuser or something above it. But there's an adjustment here for squareness. This knob here, of course, I don't know. That gives us precise angles, it's all index here. So I think it's every 15 degrees, something like that. 30. 45, um, 60 and 75, so that's pretty good, everything seems to work, we changed these rulers around because I think these are probably 2 to 1 on the bottom here, and while we had them off we give them all a bit of clean underneath and everything, so they're, hopefully they're all right. Uh, if anyone's got a set of star rulers or a set of rulers, I can probably give you that measurement there if you if you want to know. Um, looks like they're fifty mil centers. But if anyone's got a set of rulers for this machine um, in different scales, let me know. These are one to one and one to two, I think, which is probably all I'm ever going to need. But the imperial set would be nice maybe when they ever get changed this lifts up here so we can set up a drawing boat whatever I'll work on it without it and there's a brake on here this brake was worn out and it was slipping pretty pretty seriously uh, i've actually pulled this rubber off and turned it around now the side seems okay so that's fixed that, which was a lot easier than I thought. Have a look up here at the top of the board. I don't know if you can see that. There's a break there too for this way. That all works. And this surface is pretty good. You have a look, there's a few corners that are lifting, um, top and bottom. And top and bottom edges are lifting slightly. I don't think it's going to worry anything. Um, probably you could warm it up and clamp it down or something. I don't know. Do you think about that? But at this point, I'm not going to worry about it. So, pretty clean machine. Everything looks really good. Table's not shabby either. Uh, we're going to go handheld under here. Sorry, guys. But it's got enough 
adjustment yeah, it gave me enough height there to sit in front of it it's missing one of these knobs on the other side which tilts the table have to have a bit of a look for that but it's all hardwood decent hardwood top and it's Italian it's a buy a unigraph table so pretty good thing it's got a foot step or a foot rest which is probably something that's going to get used a lot I think anyone knows what this connection is though know, this hook is here um, hit me up because I feel like I probably should know what it is but seriously at this point I've got no idea anyway just a quick video um, bit of a workshop update uh, there's a uh, that's horizontal there it's very very unlikely that this table will be horizontal very often because I'd like to keep it clean for drawing and sitting stuff on it uh, sitting stuff on it to as storage space or workspaces is not conducive to that so this surface is pretty nice and I'd like to keep it that way so mostly it'll sit against the wall vertical I think it's only a little machine it's probably A1 I think it's the size um, 1.2 by 850 I think the, the website says apparently they're still made or I don't think I've never met anyone who bought a new one in the last 10 years, but who knows. Anyway, a bit of a score. Um, full disclosure, I paid 100 bucks for it, which has been on Marketplace here for quite some time. I've been looking at it, looking at it, looking at it, looking at it, waiting to have some cash. So, pretty excited about that. No paper, um, no scotch tape, no my drawing equipment's mostly in storage in a box somewhere. I'm going to have to find some sort of a cabinet to put it all in if I unpack it. So at this point, I won't expect too many drawings, but it's nice to have a good staff on that and to be somewhere near where we need to be. So pretty excited about that. Just thought I'd share everyone in this little short video. Give you an update and um, I want to say thanks to all my new subscribers and Welcome and don't forget to like and subscribe and be kind to each other guys.